And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast. Well, good Tuesday afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Sheldon Bashir is checking in with a quick look at how things are shaping up post-Christmas holiday heading in for this last week of the year. As you can see, cloud cover is slowly filtered in over the course of the day today, not only here in Amarillo, but around much of the area. And as you can see right now, as you can see right there, a massive low pressure system rotating right up around, as you can see, Kansas, Nebraska, up into Missouri. As you can see right there, snow up in that part of the area, rain off in kind of the east coast. Unfortunately for us, it's just been cloud cover. Maybe a few flurries far up north, but that's really just about it so far with this system. A very interesting, very large mid-latitude cyclone is what we call that here in the meteorology industry. So as you can see, there's that cloud cover moving in from the north. Maybe some flurries up in the northeastern parts of the region. Those green returns you're seeing up around Dumas, those are just high-level clouds. Unfortunately, nothing reaching the ground there. So let's talk temperatures here across the next 24 hours. You'll see 28 here in Amarillo overnight. You'll see just generally 20s and 30s all around. And then you'll see right there, 48 going into tomorrow. So still a little bit cooler, and there is good reason with that. 50s off towards the south, low 40s up north. So let's look at our winds here. You're going to see them stay out of the northwest today. They'll kind of calm a little bit going into this evening and tonight, but you'll see them actually pick up a little bit again on Wednesday because we're not quite done with that low pressure system just yet. As you'll see 15 to 25 mile an hour winds for tomorrow. Winds calming as we go on into Wednesday night, and I think Thursday we're going to see that low pressure system push off far enough that it won't really be much of an issue past that. So basically what we're seeing here with that low pressure system is the closer you are to the center of it, the windier it's going to be. So that's why it's going to be windier off in the east rather than off in the west where those winds may be a little bit weaker. But across the board, seeing those northwesterly winds. So looking at our high definition model run, you'll be able to spot that rotation up around the Kansas and Missouri state line. That'll start to move off towards the east here in the next coming days. You'll see by Wednesday morning, still some partly cloudy skies, but all overall threat of cloudiness does start to go down as that system makes its way on out of here. Unfortunately, as you can see, going throughout these next couple of days, moisture just does not appear to be in the cards here for us. So your seven-day supercast, 48 your high for tomorrow. You're going to see your Thursday, 45, 55 by Friday, Saturday, 60 degrees, and then Sunday, your last day of 2023, 51, and then for your first day of 2024, looks to be mostly cloudy skies and a high of about 52 degrees will drop to 51 by next Tuesday. You will notice there maybe a 10% mention of some moisture chances. We'll continue to monitor for any significant moisture chances in the forecast before the time being. Looks like things are going to stay quiet and pretty seasonal.